businesses that have applied for grants, they're not getting a response uh, quickly enough. And in some cases, they're not getting a response at all. I know one business that's been told that they will be told in November. These businesses have laid out a lot of money, up to 180,000 in some cases. I'm asking you, could you intervene with SEAI and ask them to speed up and streamline the process so that that money gets back into these businesses as quickly as, possi as possible? They're dependent on it for cash flow. Thank you. Uh, Deputy Commonwealth, Walsh, I will commit to that, and I think it's important that everyone does uh, treat this situation as what it is, an emergency situation, and SEI included, to accelerate their communications with, their cost with companies who are looking for advice or looking for grants to make sure that we act fast and quickly. I can I say as well, Deputy Kearns, I, I agree with you, we, do, we need, you can't, it's not a functioning market. There are supernormal profits being made. The best way for us to, to target those is to work in conjunction with the European colleagues because the more uniform, the more part of a, of a kind of united approach to this, uh, the more legally robust and the, the more effective it is in actually countering the Russian government and what they're doing. So we will do that. We are, it won't be an easy process, but we're committed to try and redirect some of those excess profits to Irish consumers and Irish businesses.